Derek Show and I've got with me nobody. It's me, solo, all week, again. again. It's like two weeks in a row. That's because we went skiing. Yeah. We changed the night. We mixed it all up. Next week's live stream will be on third Friday, Friday because if we go skiing at all, it's going to be on Saturday. Right. And that means about, I'm going to say... 6.30, like a normal, the normal time, live.everydaydrinkers.com or ustream.tv slash users or channel slash everydaydrinkers. Either way, you could just go to facebook.com slash cocktail TV, you'll see it. And people go, oh, how do I get that from your website? You should just, just go to everydaydrinkers.com, there's a button that says live, you click on it. It's not necessarily the most easy to understand because the website's old and I gotta fix it, but I'm working on it. The Cream Teeny. We are making the Cream Teeny submitted by Richard. This is gonna be simple. I like simple. Two ounces of whipped vodka, one ounce of orange juice, one ounce of pineapple juice. Chick drink. Let me tell you something. It's going to be a chick drink. Which is meaning it's going to be awesome. Let's do it. So we're going to make two ounces of whipped vodka. Of course, the best way to get your whipped vodka is in a plastic bottle. Right here. You see it here first. Or any other show that uses plastic bottles. Two ounces. High class right there. High class. Uh, the only other person I know would probably use a plastic bottle would be my friend John. You know, my buddy. <laughs> like your coworker, who everybody's a buddy. Yeah, exactly. Yes, Scott John. He's a buddy. Actually, I probably talked to him more than my coworker talks to his buddies. Uh, one ounce of the orange juice. OJ. Let's see. One ounce. <laughs> Let's get the this is an orange juice. John Stewart did with the. Uh... Oh what yeah. MSNBC people. That, uh, oh yeah, he's my friend. Oh yeah, our friend, good friend of the show. Oh mor- yeah, a friend. Morning Joe. <laughs> yeah, morning Joe. Everybody's a good friend. All right. Yeah, Sky would like this recipe. It's simple. All right, ice. More ice. More. I was supposed to chill this, but you get the idea. What you should do with your martinis is put ice in it like this, and then pour water in there so it pulls up, gets chilly. Or you can just put them in the freezer, frankly, but I just don't do that because they take up a lot of room. All right. Shake this up. Simple, easy. Purple shaker. Yep, awesomedrinks.com. You guessed it. Kind of clashes with your drink color, though. How do you know? Oh, because it's... I can see it. You can see my drink color? It's orange juice. It is. It's gonna be like this is like a, a twisted screwdriver, which by itself should be considered twisted since it's a screwdriver. I'm not that guy. If I were to garnish this, this doesn't need a garnish. It's it's cherry. Everything needs a cherry. Yeah, you're right. If you put a maraschino cherry, you could use a butterbing cherry from Awesome Drinks. You could use Luxardo cherries from Awesome Drinks. Uh, or just any other maraschino cherry. But if the problem is, this is such a wide berm on this diamond martini on sale at Awesome Drinks. They, I, you can light across the side. See that embedded product placement I just did right there? Wasn't that so not My obvious? My ad blocker would block your ad. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. I can tell you, okay. This smells freaking awesome. <laughs> For some reason, it smells to me like cookies. Cookies? It does. It smells like a cookie to me. No. Do you have a sinus infection? <laughs> no. Hold on. Maybe ice cream. Yeah, I don't know. It's just a kind of smell, not a cookie. Totally not it's... a cookie. No. It smells like a sugar cookie. That's still a cookie. Mm-hmm. Okay, so. Might be sweet, but it has two ounces of vodka in here. You know what that means. Boom! Right in your face! It's like... It tastes awesome with alcohol. So, the what? lesson... The, it tastes awesome with but, alcohol. Yeah, like... There are drinks that are sweet and flavorful, and you're like, I don't even taste the alcohol in here. This is awesome. You're drinking, blah, and oh. you start getting wrecked, right? This has alcohol taste. So, for people who don't like the taste of alcohol, this is not going to work. People who like really tasty drinks that are super easy to drink, and, and I think this doesn't matter, male or female, really. There are people who like a good, flavorful, flavorful sweet drink, and the alcohol thing doesn't bother them. Whatever. This is that type of drink. I would, I'm would. going to take another sip, because that was kind of striking. 
The only thing it's missing is chocolate. Amaretto might make. Um, I'm a little bit of amaretto might make this really awesome. Don't change the drink, dude. I'm, I'm not. Thirty-five percent. I mean, it's got two ounces of vodka in here. You do two shots of vodka. You can only do that so many times a night if you're um, at least my weight, height, and all that demographical stuff. Um, but, but <laughs> it's really good. It tastes like. It tastes like a cookie with whipped cream on it, and I don't understand where that's coming from because it's got pineapple. It should taste like should just taste like tropical whipped cream, but it doesn't. It has like a little cookie thing going on, and you bring hazelnut in, it would be almost too much cookie. I think this is really easy to drink on an alcohol scale, though. That's right, right there. You saw it first. So, well, obviously you saw it first because everybody's just, well, they saw it first on the live stream. See you. Now I get distracted. I forget what the, what the alcohol is. Thanks, guys. I'm going to go six and a half because I want to say seven. It has a little bit of that, like the dry alcohol bite in the finish. And it lingers for a while. Kind of makes your your eyebrows crinkle up. If you go to unibrow, it's like all like furrowed up like crazy. But it is tastes like a nice whipped cream cookie. So that's good. Now, to do we have a contest? I want a contest idea. I need some people to reach out and tell me if they want to do this. Reach out and touch me. Reach out and touch me. So <laughs> I have a buddy. Talked about last week. Who does golf? Balls. No, you don't. I do. I have. I have friends. I have a friend. What? Sky John's one. <laughs> and and uh, so my buddy Rob, friend of the show, friend of the show, has <laughs> makes golf balls. I got uh, another guy reached out to me who does. He does. Uh, well, he makes a, a golf club, but he also has these these cool. And they're coming out with the the the, cl the head covers, and it's got places for alcohol nips, mm -hmm. and uh, really. <laughs> Kind of nice. That kind of hurt. Um, would not make a good member of Degeneration X. So here's these the 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 club covers, and a little lightheaded. But he makes his own golf balls for people that are a little bit more above like my level. Like they they you you want to take it seriously, but you also know you're never gonna be a pro. So they want you know I wanted to somehow cross promote something with them, and so what I was thinking is maybe if we took one of the like a sleeve of golf balls and one of these these uh, club hats, if you will, uh, club cover, and made that a prize package for somebody who would make me a cocktail for golfers. It's about that time here in New England for golfing. I know Florida, you guys probably been golfing, even though it's like 40 degrees down there. Do you guys think that you can make a cocktail that's built? for a golfer. Now, I know there's an Olive Palmer, so you can't make that drink, and that's really just lemonade and iced tea, maybe a little bit of vodka. Get a little bit more creative. Don't have to get crazy. We're talking about something that would be for a golfer, quick and easy. They could probably have it at the clubhouse. Not like an insanely difficult cocktail, not like the Bloody Mary contest. Probably more straightforward. You can use whatever you think would fit into that generation of or that, that concept, that vertical of, of people who would like to play golf. If you're a golfer, this would also be a good cocktail for you because the prize would be golf related. If you just want to win something, fine. You know what? It, it, at the end of the day, if you say, I want to win, but I don't really, you know, send the prize to somebody who plays golf, I can I can work that out. But that's the contest I want to th I'm thinking of. Let me know if you want to participate. You can send me an email, dshower at everydaydrinkers.com and say, yes, I would totally make a golf cocktail, or I already have an idea. Just I want to see some feedback so I can figure out what we're looking at for contests. Because I don't know how many of you guys play golf. Good thing to write down, question of the day, unless we have another one coming as well, is do you play golf in any nature? Serious, not serious, you just go out and hit drive balls every now and then. I would love to know what our, our, our viewers do in that type of thing. It's a, international, these, all these, both these companies will send internationally. So. What do you guys think? Let me know. Then I can start formulating a contest for it. Do we have no other question today? And What's the email that, again? D. Shulmer at everydaydrinkers.com.
If you want to submit your recipes, you send them to recipe at everydaydrinkers.com. It's that simple, folks. And of course, you could just go to everydaydrinkers.com. There's links all over the place you can click. Contact, submit recipes, it's all right there. Um, if you don't want to write down email addresses, it's, it's, it's a link away. Oh, you, I get people sending me contest links at dshowmartawesomedrinks.com. I'm on both. But I'd rather use everyday drinkers, that way I don't get lost. Um, that's it. And of course, on sale, diamond martini glasses. I want to get rid of them. Don't want to carry them. I got a case. They got to move. I think I might want one or two sets left. I don't even know. But go buy those because you should. And get yourself, excuse me, some whipped cream vodka because it's always a good time. You can mix whipped cream vodka with anything. I think the first time I saw whipped cream vodka being used at Don's parents' house uh, was one of the girls was make, was just putting this in everything. And one of the things was orange juice. Orange juice and whipped cream vodka is a never fail episode. All you're doing in this case is bringing a little bit more tropical nature to it. And you've got a drink, simple to make, that you can throw in a martini and look high class, yet you can do anything with it. I don't suggest putting that in a college glass and doubling your, your ingredients because you'll be really in a bad way. Uh, real soon after that. So, but you know what? Do whatever you think is drinking responsibly because that's the best I could do. EverydayDrinkers.com. We're done, right? Everybody's good over there? You guys good over here? We're teaching how to drink. <laughs>